different start to today's match day vlog. We're currently out with the hound on an absolutely lovely rainy day in Great Britain. And today we have Manchester United versus Galatasaray at Old Trafford, my first Champions League game back. And I am absolutely buzzing for the Champions League nights at Old Trafford, and especially the first one to be Galatasaray. So we are going to all three home games in the Champions League. So you'll get a match day vlog for every one of them. Most looking forward to Bayern Munich, obviously. But today we have Galatasaray, a game United have to win because we can't leave it to that Bayern game at the end of the group stage but hopefully we'll be able to see some Galatasaray players as well at the end hoping for Mertens and Zaha but you never know what will happen possibly an end on ballet as well but we're taking the kit with us again to continue the project of trying to get as many signatures on it as possible but we're going to be heading into Old Trafford straight after walking the little dog who's being an absolute pain in the ass but we've got the drive down we're hoping to get there to watch the warm-ups so I'll see you when we get to Old Trafford or when we park the car not too sure yet and as always, I forgot to mention, but we did do our match preview for the game over on my sports channel, Will Sports, to where I cover all things Manchester United. We predicted a 2-1 win for today's game, so hopefully we can get it. Come on, United! Peter, please! Peter! Peter! Smigel, please! Peter! Peter! Peter, please! I can't. Peter, please! Peter, Peter, Peter! 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 Please, mate. Thank you, mate. Where's the 
Good luck. Thank you, Mace. Can I get that sexy number seven on it as well? Thank you, mate. Yeah. Nice head. Go back around for a photo. Thank you, guys. Oh, I got your photo. <laughs> well, 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 Manchester United, what can I say? Another disappointing game, and we are giving ourselves a mountain to climb in the Champions League. At this moment in time, if results don't go our way, we will have to beat Bayern to qualify to the knockout stages. But to be honest, I'm half in a mind to think we should probably drop down into the Europa or be aiming to drop into the Europa. Obviously, I would love to qualify, but I feel like dropping into the Europa could possibly be a competition we might be able to win. But as well, it would give us more and more games, which I don't think the squad can handle at the moment, especially with all the injuries. So it is what it is, but... A game we threw away, another game we were absolutely battering the opposition and this time we were actually scoring but as well our defensive frailties showed once again and we gifted them three goals. We got Casemiro sent off so he's not going to be able to play against Copenhagen. To be honest, I'd rather him not make that challenge and possibly let the goal in because I feel like still at 3-2 with... 11 men we still have a chance to get back into it rather than 3-2 with 10 men I know they missed a penalty but still the goals were just too easily conceded Dallow at the fault for the first one uh, second one to be honest it happened that fast I can't even remember I'm going to have to watch a replay of it to see it um, third one Onana makes that error dropping the ball for the cross he does that shaky pass out Casemiro gets sent off and then Again, it's just sloppy with 10 men. Not a lot we can really do. Apologies again. Not a lot we can really do with 10 men. Hoyland, he's the real deal. That's all I can say. What is going on with Marcus Rashford? As I was saying before I ran out of camera storage, the pass should have been made two strides before it was made. And by the time he made the pass, he should have had a shot. He spent too long trying to draw the keeper in and it allowed the fullback to get back. It just highlights Marcus Rashford's poor decision making once again. But if you want to see a reaction to the game, check out Wolf Sportster. It'll be up the same day as this vlog. But my camera's running out of storage, so I'm going to have to get home and I'll see you when I'm back to show you the signatures. And trust me, they're good. Hello guys, what is up? We are here a day after the video is meant to be uploaded. I'm literally going to be uploading this straight after this. I got really busy yesterday, so I couldn't get the video out because of university. But we have a good, but a bit of a sour end to the video. As you'll have already seen, the GoPro footage, A for Schmeichel was terrible, and then we saw Mount after. But you'll see in the thumbnail, I have a photo with the gaffer. I did meet the gaffer. But unfortunately, my GoPro by the time had turned off because it was on low battery and stopped recording so I didn't get the whole interaction with the gaffer he even smiled at the GoPro and I don't have it on film and I'm absolutely gutted about it but uh, we did get signatures on the shirt which I am really happy about which I'm going to show you now it is on my bed just over there so let me show you and here we are with the shirt and I'm going to run it through you really quickly Firstly, over here, Schmeichel did a little scribble, so I went back round because I was like, that's not a signature. Went back round and he did a proper signature on it, which is really cool. I like them both together. It gives it a bit of a story to the kit. Then we have Mason Mount number one. Um, there was I had the ring here and there wasn't a lot of space anywhere, so it was kind of squeezed on the end. So I went back round to get it done again. And after the three we got last time out, we got the one up here in the middle, which is better. I don't mind that it's got two on. As I said, it all gives to the story of the shirt. 
But then at the top of the middle, we have the one that I'm not going to lie, I'm the happiest with the most. I've said so many times to try and see the gaffer. And there we finally have a signature on my kit. There is a lot of space still down here at the bottom on the right and on the left. So we're still going to be taking this. We're trying to get as many as humanly possible before we put it in the frame. I'm hoping the two players that I really, really want are Hoyland and Ganacho. They're the two at the top of my list. So hopefully we can get them in an upcoming video. And there we go, guys. Just like that, another match day vlog over and done with. As we do more of these, they will obviously get better. But we have three more booked in uh, for the rest of the year. More will be coming depending on my, if Manchester United actually get through any more cup rounds and if we get any more draws at home. But we will have three more opportunities to get that kit signed. And Bayern's going to be a big one, hopefully. But anyway, I've been with all five to. I'll catch you in next week's video, which isn't a match day vlog. So I'll see you then. Thank you for watching and peace.